wouldn't bet against them. But Carball will be flying high from uh, their performance uh, last night. They know they have the firepower to get big scores and uh, they're going to have to set something reasonably large, you'll have to say, on uh, this particular surface. It remains to be seen how many they're able to get tonight. Bulk, of course, making their debut in the competition. And uh, they'll be looking to get their first points on the board and make sure that uh, they get their tournament off to a fast start. Nothing better than uh, winning your first game to get the confidence up and running. Alongside me, AJ Mira, what do you make of it, AJ? Thanks a lot, Alistair. Yes, I think it's got to be an important game. And Kabul, of course, coming off a victory yesterday. Uh, it was a very good win for them. Chasing a big score, they'll be high on confidence. And these are the lineups now. The playing 11, uh, Luke Ronke, of course, a wicketkeeper for uh, Kabul. He's a seasoned campaigner. Laurie Evans uh, playing a very good knock. Uh, Kami yesterday, Rashid Khan, experienced campaigner. Can deliver with the bat, with the ball. Muslim Musa, Wayne Parnell. So, uh, a very good side. Uh, the balance looks to be good. And bulk legends, of course, they have Colin Munro, Ravi Bupara, Mohamed Nabi, uh, experienced man uh, leading them. And uh, wasn't surprised, Alistair, that uh, he chose to bowl first because uh, just uh, if dew sets in, it's always better chasing. You know the target, the wicket just eases up, the ball skids onto the bat, bat it becomes much easier. So not a big surprise. Uh, although so far, I was uh, down out there, there wasn't much dew, so uh, depends. Uh, and yesterday, of course, uh, in that first match, there was a bit of view, so that really helped uh, Kabul as well, chasing. It's all redness here. Both the openers out there in the middle. It's uh, again a fantastic uh, atmosphere here at the Sharjah cricket ground. Luke Ronke, of course, uh, the right-hander, opening the innings experience behind him. 1950 is his best, career best, and two so far. Every sixth game for him. It's a tremendous experience. He's a good striker. And partnering him up at the other end, of course, uh, one man who Zai looked in good touch yesterday, Zazai. Azratullah Zazai, 117 runs up. Still, uh, what are we learning curve for him? 350s for him in his T20 career. Starting with spin here. And that's pretty interesting. The captain himself, as they say, leading from the front at this time. Yeah, we saw Ben Cutting do a tremendous job leading from the front in the previous game. Five wickets for him. Mohamed Nabi taking the responsibility early on. Yeah, deciding to bowl the first over to Luke Ronke. Luke Ronke, well, he comes with uh, plenty of pedigree, plenty of experience. And uh, he missed out in the first game last night. He'll look to make amends here tonight and try and get his team off to a fast start. Career strike rate of 154, Luke Ronke, across 176 games. That is just outstanding. Uh, well, we're just waiting to uh, clear the viewing area for the batsman, <coughs> getting the side screen uh, closed and making sure that Luke Ronke has full sight of uh, the new white ball. He's bowled in uh, various circumstances uh, in T20 cricket, Mohamed Nabi, from opening the bowling in the middle, bowling at the death as well. So he knows exactly what's required and what lengths and what pace he has to bowl on this particular surface. Right, we're ready to get underway here for this third game of the Afghanistan Premier League for 2018. Mohamed Nabi, the bulk legends captain, to open up. Stop. One. Punch down the ground, so off the mark straight away, Luke Ronke. Just early indications of a wee bit of turn as well. We saw in the previous game that there was turn, particularly from the left arm spinners. He got the ball to deviate significantly on occasion. With the new ball, generally, you find that it'll turn a little less until it starts uh, gripping a little bit. And as mentioned, and as we saw in the game yesterday, what factor will the Jew play? And for the left-hander, for the southpaw, he's got a slip in place straight away. All spinner against left-handed batsman. Once again, darting it in. Those will be runs here. Played fine. Chase for the fielder. Does well in the end. Couple of runs here for uh, Hazratullah to start with, opening his account with those couple of runs. Is he right, Alistair? This is a different wicket uh, if you see, compared it with the yesterday. There was a bit of grass covering today, uh, not much grass on the surface. The ball just scraping a bit. That's the reason when you toss it up, he's getting a bit of turn, even with the new ball.
He's a canny cricketer, Mohammed Nabi. He'll know exactly the pace required for this particular surface. Whoa. And he mixes it up as well. There's the arm ball, but a swing as well. Got the seam nice and upright and got it to drift into the left-hander. Yeah, nice drift there. And that was uh, the reason I uh, didn't get the timing right. You see the drift, the ball coming inwards to the left-hand batsman. Once again, played it fine. Not intentional, but will be a four here. Fog maximum four. The first one of this match. Seemed to toe end it, Luke Ronke. There was a bit of width on offer, so he was able to free his arms, but didn't make the requisite contact. Not out the middle of the bat, off the bottom of the bat. That allows it to beat the man, the short third man on the offside. He doesn't mind, he'll take it. Once it got uh, on the ground and running. Stop! It was always going to run away for four. Good morning, good morning. So they'll be happy with uh, the first over. Nine for nine. To start with as well for the Kabul outfit. Nine for no wicket. Mohammed Nabi deciding to bowl that first over. And that'll be Afdabalam. He's going to be given uh, the responsibility of bowling the second over. Slip in place. Yeah, one man who was really uh, bowling very impressively the Asia Cup, Aftab Alam. Had a very good Asia Cup, really bowled well in the death hole, especially remember a few games that I was covering, uh, really delivered for his uh, side, Afghanistan. And uh, really is a very good uh, find. It will be interesting uh, what kind of movement he gets under lights straight away. Right, how's Hasratullah Zazai going to play? He likes to get on with it, likes to particularly fetch it up and over the onside between mid-on and mid-wicket. But uh, Aftab Alam will know him very well. They're obviously played a lot against each other, know each other's games, so he'll know what's required and what length he needs to bowl. Mid-on was thinking of going back, but Mohammed Nabi has kept him up. Definitely uh, protection on the leg side, though, with mid-wicket out on the fence. There he goes, and that'll be a boundary. He likes it in that area. Opens the front leg, creates a bit of room, and heaves it away through square leg. Coming with a very positive frame of mind. He's heaving on the onside, uh, making a slight room for himself. Roll a bottom hand in that strike. But more importantly, played in the gap. Big gap on the onside. Fetching him uh, a fork for. Not very happy with that, Aftab Alam. Immediately forces a field change. A third man up in the circle, mid on now back, and square leg now back, and back in a more orthodox position. So they're trying to block the scoring areas for Zazai. No, <laughs> it's no holding back. He's going to take full advantage of uh, this first six overs. That's what he's out there to do, and he's going to make sure he gives it a fair crack tonight. Just wasn't fluent enough in that first game. But uh, you just get the feeling tonight he's uh, prepared to open the shoulders again, prepared to take on the bowling, prepared to throw a bit of caution to the wind. Oh, slower ball, good thinking. But the direction, not quite what he would have uh, wanted after Balam. He's looking for anything up in his half. Zai Zai, so I don't think this is a bad uh, effort, whether it be a genuine bouncer or the slower ball bouncer. Just needs to get the direction right. Yeah, Hazratullah will be going after anything uh, in his uh, area, in his slot. But this time, trying to vary his pace, uh, just erring in his line. Earlier, he tried that uh, full length delivery as well to the left hander. Oh, clean him up. That was a soft dismissal, loose shot there. To once again uh, carve it away on the onside, but Aftab has the final say, bagging his first wicket in this game. One big shot, too many, trying to heave it away again on the leg side, his favourite scoring area. And uh, on this occasion, getting the under edge and uh, the ball cannoning into the stumps. The front leg was open, the bat was horizontal, 
and he didn't make uh, anywhere near the requisite contact under edge ungainly in the end and uh, after double arm he's delighted he picks up the first wicket pocket breakthrough Zai Zai gone for seven 15 for one t3 games so plenty of experience playing for a lot of sides all around the world and he's in early here the second over because Zai Zai well He's uh, played a rather agricultural stroke, you'd have to say. Opened the front leg, trying to smear it away on the leg side. And, uh, well, in the end, not the desired result, but exactly how the bulk legends would have wanted to start. Yeah, the line of the delivery was around the all-star and trying to work uh, the ball on the onside. That's the reason uh, inside edge, hitting onto the stumps. That's exactly what Aftab was looking at. It was fired up. <laughs> No, 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 no. Warning a single refused by Sparta. It's a 15 for one. The doors in this uh, encounter. Kabul's one on put into bat by the Bulk Legends. 15 for one. This is a big partnership, you'd have to think. Ronke and Ingram, two of the best in the business. Plenty of experience. Well, and Kabul well. uh, can uh, get another big good score. Morning, morning. Just get the feeling that there has to be a bit of a partnership between these two. Yeah, both are good strikers, and uh, Mohamed Navi, of course, bowling is up second over. Oh, that's a good delivery, straightening with the arm. Taking the wheels off in a flash as well. Prob just seeing the body language, he was uh, probably well in. Luke Ronke. Gee, he's a good bowler, this bloke. Just got so many subtle variations. And that's the key. He really is spot on with his decision making and so far as what he looks to do, what he looks to execute, how he reads the batsman. Stop! Well bowling, well bowling! And at the moment, he's bowling a terrific spell. Exactly what panned out. A few deliveries back, but he was well in. The back foot was important. Inside the crease once again, uh, shot for leg before. Good over so far from Mohamed Nabi. Really testing the batsman, showing a lot of variations, uh, varying his pace, using the crease to very good effect. Surprised he hasn't tried the sweep shot. That's one of his go to shots, Luke Ronke. Catch! And this time hits it through the offside. Not quite uh, timed as he would have wished, but he gets it uh, in the gap and away from the man diving a bit off for a welcome boundary. Well, this time getting good connection. Uh, more importantly, played in the gap, was in the air for some time. Well done, well done, well done. Exactly what he was doing. Uh, good bad flow from Luke Gronke. Good. good try in the end, but really wide of the field. Oh, that's castled. Striking timber, the captain himself. And Kabul losing the second wicket. Not a great shot attempted after that boundary from Luke Gronke. Yeah, a bit too paced, we heard. Not what the doctor ordered if you're a Kabul fan. Two down early on, Javed Amadi, the new man to the crease. And they've got a bit of repair work to do here. 21 matches for him. Uh, strike rate just over 120, best of 75. We saw glimpses of uh, his ability last night. And he's got to uh, go a bit deeper here tonight. And they, they are under pressure early. Can't help but think that they Kabul fans. <laughs> Very <laughs> subdued sitting in their chairs at the moment. They were hoping for a few fireworks early on, and it hasn't been that way. That's played well. And that's going to be a fog four. Playing it fine, just earning down the pad line. Opening uh, his account as well, uh, Colin Ingram, for that four. Would be disappointed, especially after that wicket uh, by Mohamed Nabi in the last over. He wanted to create that pressure, or a great delivery with the fine leg fielder inside the circle. That was Gulbadin. He's a wizard when it comes to timing and placement, Colin Ingram. He's done it all around the world. He's just one of these silent accumulators, but make no mistake, when it uh, comes time to have a crack and find the boundary and go big, he can do that as well. But he's uh, the ideal person to be in for Kabul in this particular situation. He won't get bogged down. He'll make sure that he's rotating the strike and he'll find the boundary when he needs to. Yeah, this is the time when they have to rebuild the innings and uh, they need a partnership. 
And Ahmadi is here because uh, this was a wicked, uh, poor shot selection, soft dismissal, trying to work the ball on the onside, missing the line. The surface, as you mentioned, uh, two pace as well. Just playing that shot early. Luke Ronke, but the captain striking. He's done well. An important fact of a bulk, they've picked up two early wickets. Slip in place now for Ahmadi on strike. <laughs> Malcolm Waller in the vest in the forefront, a late inclusion for the Bulk Legends. Uh, not playing today, 12th man today. But surely Alistair doesn't look the same wicket uh, that we saw yesterday. That was a belter. The ball was coming nicely up here. The ball just gripping the surface, stopping a bit. Oh, no. I reckon probably even 160, 170 should be a decent score. If uh, Kabul can manage that, they still have uh, batting left. They have depth in the batting lineup. Yeah, you make a good point. I think uh, the key here is not to be too greedy. It's not the same wicket as the other night. We haven't really seen evidence of much due. Maybe it'll come down a bit later. But I do think it's uh, considerably less of a batting wicket or batting friendly wicket than it was uh, the other night. And uh, I think you just got to adjust your sights accordingly. And make sure that uh, you set your sights on that 150, 160. I think that's a pretty decent score on, on the surface and will test the side batting second. But the last thing you want to do in this particular situation is be too greedy, go too hard. And suddenly, like we saw in the first game, you find yourself 40 for four. And uh, then you're trying to chase the game from there on in. Yeah, we saw with um, Asghar Afghan that he did mention that, uh, you know, when they won the toss in the last game, that uh, they wanted 160, 170. They fell short in that game. So probably as you rightly mentioned, uh, don't be too greedy. Just uh, replan your strategy. Probably 160, 170 on this surface. Even in the night game, the second game should be a decent score. That's in the air. Very nicely timed as well by Amdi. Four of us gone, 28 for two. Ken was able to hit it away through mid-wicket in front of square. Not a great delivery to uh, end what was uh, a decent over up to that stage. Yeah, you're right, because especially he had a slip in place and the line ought to be uh, on the off stump. Going to be a uh, change in bowling. Mariah Sashraf uh, coming on from the pavilion end. In place of the captain, Mohammad Nabi, who just uh, took a wicket. 26 wickets for him in his T20 career. Called me pretty decent. 6.37. go so on the money straight away Marwais he's been a good campaigner for Afghanistan over the years a wholehearted performer and gives us everything when he's uh, out there in the middle not the most orthodox of actions and that sometimes makes it very difficult for the batsman to pick him up some bowlers you can pick up very easily and other bowlers you just struggle with somewhat because of the way they get into their action and the way they deliver the ball at the crease He's not the PC kind, and uh, definitely the batsman will have to uh, force the way. But uh, what uh, Ashraf needs to do is just uh, bowl a decent line and length around the off. He's got a ring of fielders on the off for the left hander for the South by Ingram. Yeah, it's up and over. Width off it, and he's not going to miss out there, Colin Ingram. One of his strong areas is up and over the offside. And it was on a lovely length that allowed him to free his arms. And he's played a lovely, lovely stroke. Yeah, that's a majestic strike. Was in the air, but he knew exactly what he was doing. Just making a bit of room for himself. A lot of uh, power in that stroke as well. Good back flow. The bat speed was tremendous. Racing across the turf. Rocket into the fence. Nine of seven. Change of pace up in the air, gone. What a good piece of bowling. Merwais has come back. He could easily have crumbled in the situation. Bowling to Colin Ingram. But he's uh, thought through the pressure. He's turned up with the slower ball. And Colin Ingram hasn't picked it. And all he's done is hit it straight to cover. Yeah, and Gulbadin taking a good catch as well. Mixing his pace. Once again, attempting the same shot, which he got up for 
But this time straight to the field and Gulbadin accepting that gleefully. And Mirace is delighted. Third wicket falling here for the Kabul side. Ingram walking back. Injected out for nine is 32 for three now. Because they're in the spot about that change of pace. A little off cutter from Mirwais, and all Colin Ingram can do is muscle it straight to Gulbadin Naib at cover. Trying to get it up and over. Not able to get the elevation. And well, he's struck. And he's very, very delighted with uh, what he's been able to achieve there. Yeah, he's had the last laugh, isn't it? Because uh, he was uh, hit for a four. Nice boundary by Ingram. And then changing the pace. Once again, trying the seam shot, Ingram. But finding the fielder, Gulbadin, and good neat catch as well from him. Evans into the crease now. He's really batted well, especially yesterday. There'll be a hand confidence. But remember, this is a different game. Has got to start from the scratch. Well, legends should be uh, very happy the kind of start uh, they have got. In the first power play, you pick up three or four wickets. It's always crucial, always important. That one stays a bit low, but he's off the mark, Laurie Evans. Guides it down to third man. End of five, 53 for three.